Okay, today is just a play session. I decided I wanted to work with just red. I've got two different red, Elizabeth Crimson and Quinacridone Magenta, and white, titanium white, and just carbon black. Just to see what I could do, and I pulled out my little bucket of lace, and I've got some mostly home, well, I think these are all homemade stamps, uh, geometric circles, swirls, um, window type, and then this one here, I love this one. That was from a paper cut I did that I liked so much I needed it permanent. And I might pull out a stencil or two here and there, I don't know. I got that big pile of stencils over here from the kits that I, from the sets that I bought on Amazon. But I found this at Goodwill, and I know somebody's probably going, oh my god, she's not going to cut that up. <sighs> I'll never wear it. It was there like three times I went to Goodwill and it was still there. So I don't think anybody else was going to wear it. It's just a scarf. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a section of it and I'm going to tape it off um, with duct tape so that I can cut it and uh, have a section for gel printing. I don't know what will happen with the rest of it, but I think I think there's enough to do a small window dressing on the top of my small windows in the studio. So if there is, that's what I'll do with that. But I only need like a, maybe a 12 inch section and I'll leave the fringe on the section. But that's what I'm gonna do and I'll be back after I've got that. I'm gonna just run this Gorilla Tape down the edge, up the other side and then cut it through the middle. That's all I'm gonna do. I'll be back when I'm done with that. Okay, so you can see I just taped one side of it, taped it together, both sides of this, so that this won't come unraveled. Get to make sure I push it down real good. And then I just cut down the middle. So I've got this left to figure out how to hold it together if I want to use it on my curtains. And then I have this to print with. <sighs> so, let's get going. Here's my 8 by 10 Here's my 5x7, my stack of stamps up here, and I don't know if I've ever done just red, black, and white. I, I do limit myself lots of times, but let's see what we, got out of, what we can get out of this. Like I said, I've got my bucket of trim up here to use. I've started organizing my studio a little bit better and I'm finding out it works for me best if I put things in buckets and my paints are all in a bucket and my stencils are now in envelopes in a bucket so they're sorted out as according to geometric or this is a this is my old um, gel plate that I just used for this and it is a mess but we're gonna see And all I use it for now, unless I want a really messy print, all I use it for now is to roll out the inks. Now, if I wanted a really smooth roll, I would probably use one of the newer ones. Let's see what this, this new stuff does. All right, let's just try it on a plain sheet of paper. I don't think I'm going to use any deli paper today. I think we're just going to use this plain stuff. And if you hear anything going on and off in the background, I apologize, but that's my heater. And while I will shut the air down and come out here at night so you can hear me better, uh, I'm not going without the heat. Oh, that's interesting for a first time. Let's try and pull some more of it up. That obviously didn't get down the middle real well. I just bought this sweater, but it's thrift store, so I bought it to do out, to use out here in the studio, because it gets cold out here. Now that is interesting. Can you see the, oh, I hope I'm not getting that, those lines in my video. Can you see that? Oh, it's much better when I put it in front of the lamp here. All right, we're going to put that to one side because we're going to print over that. 
Now let's take a section of this on another sheet. Just a section. See what we get. Ooh, that is nice. Was that worth cutting up? You be the judge. I think it was. Very nice. Uh, let's go back and take a section on this. Take the rest of it on this one. Oh, I think that was worth cutting up. That is nice. And I'm getting the greens from my last printing, which was green. All green. Now let's do some carbon black. Now I'm gonna have pinks and grays in it. I'm not just doing pure black, red, and white. I'm using those colors, but now we're gonna try something here. Let's do a stamp and then stamp it up the top. Let's just use part of this one. Bring it up here. That looks good. And then I'm going to stamp on this. Oh, the backs fell off a few of my stamps. I do need backs on them. And I want to take some more off of here. Then we're going to print that over that first one. We might come back with white. All right, we're going to print this over the first one. I think we'll go this way. See what we get. I find it really helps sometimes to limit your colors or limit your... Well, what I've started doing is instead of staring in front of the, at the whole box of stencils, I'll take out the ones I'm going to work with that day. An interesting print, except for that hair or something that's across it, but it's probably something out of that scar. But that's interesting. Now I'll come back again on this one with something else probably going this way. But let's pick this up. First, let's find that hair. Oh, yes, it is a hair. It's, I can't blame the scarf. It's me. I seriously need a haircut. It looks like it came up, probably. Hmm. Or maybe not. Well, I might want to stamp the bottom again. Okay. Let's just go over this. This one. Oh, I like that gray. Except for where I wiped it back. It's pretty nice. But see, I'm getting pink. I'm not getting red. Let's see if I can finish this with black. Because I do like the gray. this off. Let's see if we can get a little bit more red. I don't know which red I used the first time. I don't think it was this one. Let's see alizarin crimson. Oh, that's pretty. But the one thing I do like about all, uh, this golden open that I started using is um, it's all, everything I've used so far is really transparent. I love that look. All right, let's use this. Let's 
I don't know how well that took, but we'll see. So far I'm liking the gray and, well, I'm getting pinks, but I can keep going over it. It'll get darker. Oh, I like that. That has a nice look to it. Now let's come back with some some quinacridone red. Let's see if this does better. I'm going to do, oh, not cleaning my brayer, but so that I can get a little bit of the red in it too. I'm going to put the black straight on the, straight on the surface. Probably only got about 10, 15 more minutes of battery time left, so. Why there are hairs on? Oh, you know, I didn't even think about it. It might be this sweater. Live and learn. Now. I'm going to lay out some of these ribbons. And netting. an edge of this. Oh, maybe some of the, let's lay some of the end part of it down. Spread it out. Okay. Let's pull this up on this, switching the ends. Well, this paper's wrinkling, but I'm not trying to get a precise impression so it doesn't matter so much. If I were trying to get a precise stencil like a bird stencil or you know, like that it would matter a lot more. I'm just trying to get texture. Now, where did I not get texture? Right over here. Let's see what I did on this end. And right up in here it didn't come very good. The rest of it's looking fine. And I'm really liking this. The black on the on the red or pink as it is um, looks really good. And this bit of black here, I'll come back and put some black over here and pop that up. Balance it out a little. Oh, I like that. This area right here could do something. All right, I like that. I'll see, I'll take that, let it dry, and then take it in and see what I can do with my pens and pencils with that. I like that. We're gonna call that one a done. But we haven't added the white yet. Let's pull all this up and see what it does on a sheet and then go over that with white. Ah. Got all that there picked up. Yeah, sometimes I find when I'm in a mood and I don't know what to do that if I limit myself, I do much better. And then maybe come back later. You, you, you'll see something from what you did that you like. See, I like that. But I might like more of that gray right there. I like that, but let's let's see what the white's gonna do now. Somewhat get my brayer somewhat clean. I don't have my sheets. I usually have sheets out over here for brayering off, but I don't have them today. I don't know why. Just didn't get to it. Now, of course, because it's not nothing's clean, it's not gonna be white. We'll put it on here. It's going to be a mix of the pink and the gray. It'll be a pale gray. 
it is the sweater i swear or it's that scarf because i see more of it but you know what i'm just going to embrace it and leave it there now i'm going to pull up some of this pink and some of the pinky gray not worry too much what me worry um I think I'm going to pull out some of these stamps well maybe I didn't put backs on these because a lot of them don't have the little handles well darn I have a bunch of these rectangles that I never never use, so I guess maybe I just didn't get around to putting handles on them. I'll have to do that today, though. They're very crisp. I like them. And we're going to maybe pull up a little bit of this. Because that's way too white in that middle. I'm not that fond of that. This will just leave little marks, see? All right, let's pull this up on its own sheet. And then whatever's left, we'll pull up on top of that other sheet. I'm not even centering these papers properly today. Ooh, it's very pale, but it's very interesting. It looks like an old magazine photo that's faded. Let's see what this will do to the middle of this one. Then I'm going to do another one with circles. Ooh, that white really put... Oh, I like what that did. It kind of frosted it. Very nice, but it needs something stark. So, I'm going to slop a red. area of thick paint I can get right here and start doing this all right I want it at this end there's a bullseye one somewhere there there we are Now, let's do this over that black and see if it shows up. See if it gives me what I'm looking for. Just an interesting print. And these will probably end up being pages of a journal with other stuff printed on top. Now, that is interesting. See how that sparks out up a little, gives it a little design. We're going to come back to that in a minute, but I'm going to use that over this. Oop, this way. See if I can pull the rest of it up. And this is the last of that dollar store sketchbook pages I used to use. They haven't had them in months now, at least a couple months. That really is disturbing. I used to count on those. But you've always got to adjust in art, I guess, to whatever supplies are available. Well, it's not as good as it was in the other one, but I like it. Now let's get something even darker going. Oh, 
right out of the bottle. Black. No, that one's very dull. Gonna kind of meld the two together and put some of the gray in it if I can get the gray to come up. There. All right. This is going to be a very dark one, which I don't mind at all. Uh, is there anything else I want to do to it? I don't know. Let's just pull the dark one and then we'll see. I might do some white on top of it. Or maybe some pink. Oh, I don't think I need to do pink on it. Look at that. That's the magenta. You see that? That is interesting. I don't know what I would do with it later, but but you can see the whites by the white spots. I really need to clean this gel plate. It is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. So I'm probably going to end this session. I want to try stamping with the white one one time. Probably on the top of this one, and then I will call it a day and start the morning with a clean gel plate. But let's just put some white over this. Well, maybe some white. Do some stamping. Or even better. just an area of it, white, and then put that new scarf over it. And see what that does. And when you do something like that where you want, I don't necessarily want it to be, I'm not a fan of lines. So I'm just gonna go in and anywhere left the line, I'm just gonna tamp it out. Then I want to take that scarf, throw it over the top, and see if it gives me a good print. Probably pull it up on, uh, I pull a little bit up on this one. I'm not fond of that pink area. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that interesting? And it came out more silver then. Let's pull a little bit more up then. And we'll do it on this dark one. Oh, very nice. See, it almost looks silver. I know you probably can't see on the camera, but then you see that because it's actually gray, but it almost looks silver. And then pull this up with that other one, and I'm done for the day. Uh, let's do this side. It's the least interesting side. And maybe next time I do this, I'll use a more um, basic red. Well, it's interesting. It's not great. I'm probably going to want to put one more thing on top of it because that kind of toned everything down, but it's not bad. But this is what I've done. Let me zoom down real quick. All right, 
where is the zoom? I'm totally missing it. There it is. There it is. Okay, so I'll show you what I've done. Move the plates out of the way. You can see. That is kind of uninteresting, but I'll come back and I'll go over that one. Like I said, next time I'll use a more primary red. Because I probably would even like the pink that came out better. But this is pretty right in through here. These are probably going to be background pages for my for a journal that I'm doing. I like that. I really like this. It's interesting. I don't know if you can see the whole thing. Maybe I should pull up a tad. There we go. This one, which I do like. I can see something coming of that. And I, you know, as you know, I'll go over them with my pen and ink. So, And that one right there. So I'm probably not going to put the photos at the end like I usually do. Because you've seen them all. Thank you very much for viewing my video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed doing it. Uh, like if put a like if you like the video, please. Subscribe if you want to see more, and hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when more came out. Came out. Wait a minute. Am I am I imagining I'm not here anymore? When more come out, I think I need to go in and get some coffee. And you have a lovely, lovely day. Thank you very much for viewing my video.